The Armistice of Erdenkan, also spelled Erdenzan or Erdenjan, was an agreement to suspend hostilities during World War I signed by the Ottoman Empire and Transcaucasian Commissariat in Erdenkan on December 18, 1917, December 5 OS. The armistice brought temporary peace to the Anatolian and Persian fronts until February 12, when the fighting was resumed. The status of the commissariat was unclear at the time, the Ottomans regarded it as an independent entity, a legal successor of the Russian Empire, while the commissariat still considered itself a part of the Russian Republic. The Ottomans were already party to the Brest-Litovsk armistice with Russia, December 15, that covered the Anatolian and Persian fronts. After receiving a ceasefire proposal from Vib Pasha, commander of the Ottoman Third Army, the commissariat authorized the commander of the Russian Caucasus Front, General Perjavolsky, to negotiate an armistice with his Ottoman opposite. The result was Erdenkan, after which the Russian troops began to withdraw, leaving the Transcaucasian Commissariat completely undefended. A supplement to the armistice was signed on the same day, demarcating the line of occupation between the two sides. On February 12, the Ottomans began advancing across the line in defiance of the armistice, having rejected the Transcaucasian Commissariat's authority to sign it and accused the Armenians of massacring Muslims behind the Ottoman line on 15-16 January. On February 24 the Brest-Litovsk armistice was broken by Germany and became of no effect. Both armistices were superseded by the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk with Russia, signed on March 3, 1918, and the Treaty of Batum with the successor states of the Transcaucasian Commissariat, Signed June 4, 1918.